hello everybody so I'm gonna take off uh, my makeup that I had on real quick and then um, I had a poll today to let you guys vote on a look and as of right now it's 50 50 so um, <laughs> I don't know which one to pick um, so I want to show you guys that are watching right now the looks and if you like the first one, I want you to put a number one in the comments. And if you like the second one, I want you to put a number two. So let me show you the looks. Alright, so the first one is this one. That's number one. And the second one is this one. So it's more of like a peachy orange. So, which one do you guys want to see me do since we were 50-50 on the poll today? That's number two, and this is number one. Well, Ashton, I guess you've got it since you're the only one <laughs> on here so far. Um, so, I am going to do the red one. Um, and... Uh, some more people will probably hop on here in a few minutes. Sometimes I don't see my comments. They just don't show up. I don't know why, but they don't. So if anybody says anything and I don't respond, I'm not ignoring anything you're saying. Alright, so um, I shouldn't be. I'm driving. <laughs> well, I used these Lime Life Makeup Remover Wipes um, to take my makeup off just now. They work really, really well. They smell good, and um, they're really thick, so it takes everything off with one. But um, so the the first thing I'm gonna do is use my Lime Life First Base Primer. And this is something that you can do, but you don't have to. My face is really oily, so I like to use the Oil Strike. Um, it's a, a setting spray, but you can actually use it with your primer spray um, if your skin is really oily to help control all that. So, I'm going to put a little bit of that on too. And the primer sprays and the um, setting sprays, you can buy those together or you can buy them separately. Um, but they're amazing. Alright, so... Tonight, I'm going to do something I don't normally do, but a lot of people do it this way. I'm going to do the eyes first and then do the foundation and everything after. And a lot of people do that so that if they have any fallout, it doesn't get into their foundation. So I'm going to do that tonight just because, and I'll probably forget something doing it like I don't normally do it. But Okay, so our concealer, our Lime Life Concealer... Um, this is my little thing with foundation and concealers. Can be used um, for a eyeshadow base. So I'm going to use that on my eyes before I do anything else. Our concealers are waterproof. And they last a really long time. Unless your 18 month old gets into them and decides to dig her little fingers, her little fingernails in them. I think that one is actually a tooth mark. Anyway, life with a toddler. Alright, so there's that one. And these concealers come in a variety of different shades. Um, so a lot of people will use them for uh, highlighting and contouring as well. Alright, so there's my con uh, concealer. Um, now, here's something a lot of people don't do. Some people don't even put anything on their eyes, but um, I 
just have super, super oily skin, and it makes my eyeshadow crease. So, in addition to that, I also use a MAC paint pot. And this one is soft ochre. Ochre, I guess is how you say it. I don't know. Anyway, this is the color I always, always, always use. Um, and it's like their most popular. So, sometimes they run out of it. Um, but I'm going to put that on too. This is what I would do just any time, basically, that I'm doing my makeup. Because I hate, hate, hate when eyeshadow creases. It just drives me crazy. So, okay, so we've got that. And then, um, the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get some, uh, some different colors here. Um, I'm going to go over the whole lid with the buff color in this Lorac Pro Palette. Hey y'all, if y'all are just hopping on, this is the look we're doing right now. Alrighty, so I'm going to grab me a brush over here. If you um, are watching live, please put a 1 in the comments at some point. And if you're watching the replay, uh, put hashtag replay. Most of my views are replays. So um, that just helps me to kind of see when people hop on there and watch and that kind of thing. Okay, so I've got that all over the eye. Now I'm going to take a angled brush and use that. And I'm going to use the Morphe palette. Let's see. Oh, wrong one. This Morphe palette is 35M. And I am going to use, what color is this color? Sweet Beats is the color that I'm using. It's this one right here. And this one, um, for the look we're doing, we can kind of use the same color for everything. Well, for most of the eye. Um, and then just use some other stuff, blending and adding um, a little bit more color in certain areas. And then um, just putting it on lighter in certain areas um, is mainly what we're going to do. So we want to go probably about right here with that color. Just a little bit higher. So we're just going to put it on really light. And then I'm going to take a smaller brush. Um, this is a Morphe E18 brush. And I'm going to put it on heavier right here in the middle of my eyelid.
so it's real real heavy right here um over here we're going to use that black and over here we're going to use um, a very sheer shimmery color and then blend all that together and that's going to give us this look we're going for all right so i'm going to get that angled brush one more time and go on this side and do the same thing I've been mainly doing our Halloween looks this month because it is October, but, uh, and I may do another one later tonight and do a Halloween look, but, um, I just haven't done regular, many regular looks lately, so I figured I'd do a few of those, throw some of those in here. Um, if you don't care, tap my nose and hit follow if you'd like to see um, my other tutorials that I do. And hit that share button if you don't care. So other people can join in. So I've got that Morphe, that smaller Morphe brush right now loading up on this color in the middle okay all right so now that we've got that Let's go in, let's go ahead and do the corners of the eyes real quick with another small brush. Actually, I'm going to use that same Morphe brush, and what I'm going to do anytime I switch colors and I want to use the same brush, um, I use this little thing right here. It's called Blank Slate. Um, it's like a little $5 deal. Uh, but you can just rub your brush all around, and it helps take off all that color. So anytime you switch your colors and you want to use that same brush, um, like I said, it's a little $5 thing. You can get it at TJ Maxx a lot of times or um, some other stores that are not very expensive. Um, so I'm going to get in this Lorac Pro palette. It's called Snow. This is my absolute favorite color to use in the corner of my eyes to... Um, make these make your eyes pop and stand out if you put a um, really light color a shimmery color right here it makes your eyes look bigger and I just love this color so let's go ahead and put some in both corners Hey, if you're just hopping on, we are doing this look tonight. And if you don't mind, please hit that share button. Okay, so once you've got it there, you can take a larger brush. Um, this one is a Morphe E27. And just sort of drag that white over towards the center a little bit. Just sort of to blend that in. So this is what we've got so far. And then we're going to get some black out of that same Lorac Pro palette. And actually, I want to use that same smaller brush, that Morphe brush. Um, so let's clean that off real quick with the blank slate. I just love, this is one of my favorite brushes. I use it all the time. It's just easy for me to use and it's really versatile. So we're going to go over here in these corners with this black.
Now we're going to go back um, and do a little bit more later after I do the eyeliner and the wing. But for right now, we just kind of want to get it in this corner good. Okay, so after we've got that, now we're going to go with um, our perfect eyeliner pen. This is our Lime Life Perfect Eyeliner Pen. It's one of our best sellers every single month. Y'all, if you're just hopping on, please hit the share button and tap my nose and hit follow. This is the look we're doing. So, let's go ahead and use this eyeliner pen. And if you are watching live, please put a 1 in the comments for me. If you're watching the, re the replay, put hashtag replay. So that I can go back and look and see when people watched. Okay. So let's put, let's draw this pretty, pretty big wing on here. This pen just makes this so easy. It's so easy to use and it works great. It looks good. It's a felt tip and it's just so easy to work with. If you're not good at eyeliner, this is awesome. And I'm telling you, I could not do a wing for anything before I had this pen. Okay, so here's the first wing. Now let's go to the other side and try to recreate that. I can't talk when I'm doing my eyeliner or it'll get all screwed up. Plus I can't see half the time. <laughs> okay. That was a little too thick. Let me get a Make up and remove the cloth really quick. I don't like don't like it if they're not even. I'm not liking the one on the left. So if you mess up or you don't like it, it's easy to fix. All 
different. Much more even now. All right, so I'm going to have to go back and put a little bit more of that black brush gap there is okay so we're gonna have to add a little bit more of that black on here Now, these wings may change a little bit here in a minute because we've got to add this gold streak in here. And so they're going to end up coming up just a little bit to where they meet, those lines meet together. Um, but it's a little bit easier to do the other line first and then bring this up. So I'm going to go ahead and blend that just a little bit. Here's my blending brush. Before I do that gold streak. Okay. So now I'm going to do that gold streak through here. Um, you can use eyeliner. Um, I have this um, Essence Metal Shock Eyeshadow. And I really like the color been playing around with it just to see what it looks like so I'm, I'm actually going to use a brush and take it off of this and use this for that gold streak because it's really pretty so let me find the brush I want to use hey Paja where is the brush okay I'm gonna try this one Alright, so I'm going to let that kind of dry for just a second. Before I use, use my pen again. Alright, so back to the pen real quick. Just fill that in a little bit. And... Okay, I'm kind of looking down. This is what it looks like straight. So this is not something you're going to be able to see right off. And then I'm going to take a... Really stiff, a very flat brush. This is a Morphe 432. And I'm going to get in some of that red. And then go back and clean this line up a little bit. Right here. Okay. 
And we're going to get, when you do your left eye, we can't see you. Okay. So on the left eye, I'm going to try to go to this side instead of that side of the camera. It's just kind of weird because I'm having to look around. But I literally do that all the time. I'm sorry. I always forget. Hey, Judy. Alright, so now I'm going to go back with this gold on this side. That's why it keeps doing it. There's like a little stray hair on this brush. And that's why it keeps dragging down here. Of course, this is my look. Hold on, I'm gonna take it off. The scissors real quick. Alright, should have much better results with this. Like I said, you can actually use an eyeliner, but I'm using this because I like the color Metal Shock by Essence. Can't tell you where I got it. <laughs> Probably had that for a long time. So let me let this dry for a second. I think my left eye is my dominant eye, even though like I'm right handed and I do everything with my right hand. Like I can see better out of it. So when I have to shut it, I'm like, I don't know, nothing. Sometimes stuff doesn't end up the way it should. It's like, I don't know. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to get that flat brush again and dip it in this red and clean this up just a little bit. I think the black is okay. Okay. I'm gonna blend this at the top just a little bit too. I need to add a little bit, just a little bit of red. Right here above this. It's about that black color. Okay. Yeah, so there's there's that. Now I'm gonna go um and do a little bit of stuff on my brows. I'm going to go back and put uh, mascara and my lashes on later. Um, brow pencil. So for my brows, we have some new brow gel that I really like. Um, it comes in clear, light, medium, and dark. Um, let me grab it here. It's in my bag. 
Okay. So it looks like this. It comes in a little tube. Um, Lime Life Brow Gel. And if you want to add some color like to um, your brows first and then use the clear or any of these really but you can do that first or if you just want a little bit of color and you mainly just want them to stay in place then you can just go right into using this which I just don't feel like mine really need a whole lot of color because they're already pretty dark So this kind of fills in any little gaps and adds a little bit of color and keeps them in place. So So there's that one. Right, so there's those. Now I'm going to start on the face and use my Lime Off Concealer and Foundation. So I've got two concealers um, in my little combo thing. One of them um, I use for like any red areas or blemishes or anything like that and it kind of color corrects those so I usually put some of that on my chin our concealer is waterproof um, and like I said when I started the eyes you can use it as a um, eyeshadow primer Hi, Kim. Okay. And then the other one that I have in my little combo here is, um, it's brighter, so I usually put it under the eyes. And you can use it as a highlighter as well. Some people use these as a highlighter. They have several different colors of the concealer, so you can get some darker colors and use it for contouring as well. Okay, so there, there's my concealer that I'm going to put on. And then you can use a regular foundation brush or you can use a diffuser brush like this. Um, or you can use a blending sponge to put this on with. If you use a blending sponge, it's going to be um, not quite as full coverage um, as if you, is, unless you, if you use a brush, you're going to have more 
coverage. If you use the sponge, you can have less coverage. Um, usually what I'll do is use a brush and then I go back and use a sponge just to blend out any contouring that I do. But you kind of tap it on first and then swirl it. This foundation that I'm using is Olive 3 is the color. It's a little bit darker than what I actually am. But I have no tan right now. And I do not like looking like a ghost. So this is what I like. There are lots of different shades. Um, if you'd like to be color matched for our foundation, let me know. You can comment or message me. This foundation, um, a lot, a little goes a long way. Um, it is wax-based. Um, it has 50% pigmentation. Most other foundations are going to have 18 to 23. So this is going to last you a long time and it's going to cover really well. So you can see all this dark mess up here. All this different pigmentation it's going to cover that right up gone okay so there's our beautiful foundation and usually, like, if I'm going out or whatever, whatever I've put on, I usually do the foundation all down here, too. Just so it all matches. Because I don't want to look weird. Okay. So, um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use that Lime Life Concealer. I'm going to use it as a highlighter and highlight some areas. And we're going to highlight and contour and blend all that together. So I'm going to put some down the bridge of my nose. Up through here. Okay, so we'll go back and blend that here in a minute. All right here, let me put a little bit more right here. Okay. So what I like to use for contouring um, is my Tardiest Pro Palette, Pro Glow I think, let me see, yeah Pro Glow. So I've got this that I really like to use, um, it has six different shades, um, one of them is empty because my daughter threw it in the floor, um, but there's all different shades. So. Um, you can kind of use whatever you like um, for color. I like to use the Sculpt color to contour with. So that's what I'm going to use. I 
I'm actually using a foundation brush for this. Okay. Then I'm going to use my small brush to do the sides of my nose. Okay, so I have my blender here somewhere. Here it is. Put it in water earlier. I think it. Woo, I think it's still plenty wet. Um, this is our blender full from Lime Life. Um, it has a flat edge, and then it has the egg, sort of the pointy egg shape on the other side. And I use that part under the eyes. I mean, you can use any kind of sponge or whatever. Um, this is my absolute favorite, though. Um, this and the original Beauty Blender. And I used to think a sponge is a sponge, but they're not. Um, these are super, super soft. It's just the way that they absorb everything and the way that they blend looks so good it, it's just the whole it's a big difference compared to like the cheap ones the cheap ones are usually kind of like like more dense they're harder and i don't know they just they don't do as good a job they're harder to use Get these sides. Right. So next, let's put some blush on. And I just got some new blushes. Um, here, these are the three new Lime Life blushes that I just got that I haven't used. This one is, I would use that more of just a highlighter. Um, but I've got a pink color and a little bit darker pink color. Um, but I want to try out one of these new ones. So I think I'm going to go with that darker pink. It's a matte color. So I'm going to get... Uh, just a blush brush. This is a Morphe brush. And we're going to try out this new color and see what it looks like. And you just barely have to put your brush into this. I mean, it's highly pigmented, so the Lime Life blush is probably going to last you like two years if you use the same one every day. Ooh, I like that color there. That one is uh, number one. It's called Alive, that color that I'm using. If y'all are just hopping on, tap my nose, hit follow, and please hit that share button. And if you are watching a replay, please put hashtag replay in the comments. Okay, so there's that blush. I really like this color. Okay, so I'm actually going to try that other blush out. Let me see what it looks like on my hand. Yeah, I mean, this is a great highlighter. It's number six. It's called Glowing. So I'm just actually going to try out that right in here and add just a little shimmer with it. I like that. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna put some right here. Please use my finger to do this. Okay. Alright, so I am going to go ahead and put some glue on some lashes real quick. So that can be getting tacky. Um, I don't know what lashes these are, actually. I took them out of the pack yesterday. I accidentally threw the pack away. So now I can't tell you what they were. But I haven't used these these specific ones before, but they're they're pretty big. That's what they look like. Try them out anyway. Last night I had planned on doing a vampire look, and then Paige wanted me to do a cat on her, so. We did that, and these were the lashes I was going to use for that vampire look. So I had these sitting out, and Paige already had lashes on, so. Alright, so I'm going to let those kind of get tacky, and while those lashes are drying, I'm going to put some lipstick on. And I'm going to use this, uh, it's called Devil's Food. This is our Lime Life Devil's Food color. It's really, really pretty. This is one of our enduring lip colors, and again, it's called Devil's Food. The enduring lip colors dry. Um, they have a matte finish, which I normally, that's normally what I like. I love the color too. I love this color. Okay, so let's see if these lashes have gotten tacky yet. Whoa, those are some big lashes. Alright, let's check the other one out. Probably should have cut these. They're just a little bit long for my eyes. But they're alright. 
and I'm going to put just a little bit of that pink. No, I don't think I am. Um, so I'm going to get our Lime Life Perfect Mascara. This is another one of our best sellers every month. And do those bottom lashes with that. This mascara has fibers in it. Um, but it's just a one step thing. Like a lot of the ones that I've tried out before have like three steps. You gotta prime them. And then you gotta put the mascara on. And then you have to put the fibers on. And then you have to put more mascara on. And just ridiculous. There's that, and then I'm going to go up under here, so that my lashes blend in with these falsies. So these are pretty big lashes, but it's not something I would normally just wear out on a normal basis, but I think they look pretty cool, and they definitely would have been, would be fun to do that vampire look with. So, and then, um, the last thing I always do when I get finished, is use the Lime Life Oil Strike Setting Spray. There is a Time Setter Setting Spray, and then there's the Oil Strike. Oil Strike is for oily skin, which I definitely have. So, um, this helps keep your makeup on for 16 hours. Um, you spray everything real quick when you're done. Hey, Melissa. I was just saying um, that these lashes are like gigantic. They're not something I would like normally wear out, but they're really pretty. So, I really like this color. The only thing I would really do different is I'll probably use that gold eyeliner pencil I have instead of trying to use this because it made it it's a little big it's thicker than I would want but I really like the color so that's why I tried tried doing it like that but um love 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 this look thank you this is some new um what color was it? I got some new blushes. And this one that I used is number one. It's called Alive. And I love, love, love this color. Oops. Well, I was going to show you what it looked like. But I dropped it in the floor. Um, but I really like that color. And this is called Devil's Food. So. And on the eyes, I used a Morphe. Um, some Morphe colors. And a little bit of Lorac. So. But here is the final look for tonight. I'll take some pictures and post in a little while with all of the products that I used. Um, if you have any questions. Um, or if you'd like to be color matched for foundation. Just let me know. Post a comment. Send me a message. Um, and again, if you're watching the replay, please put hashtag replay. Um. So that I can keep track of who's watching it later. Thank you guys.